Well, I'm going to sound like I'm giving a, a politically correct answer now, but this has become, I'm 73, and the reason I can live so comfortably with God is because I can move between the transpersonal, the personal, and the impersonal easily and naturally, and that makes it almost possible to pray always. I can still, uh, Michael's been to my house, uh, I'm happy to bring, you'll see I have icons and I have even little Catholic statues. I don't have any trouble with God being personal. I have Catholic crucifixes, Jesus on the cross, you understand? You, if you just came in my house, you'd think, wow, he's an old time Catholic, you know? But actually that's, that only sometimes brings it to a focus. If I'd be honest, especially the last few weeks when I've been working in the garden a lot, uh, the image of God, the presence of God is much more in the flowers and the growing and the air and the sun. I rearranged a bunch of flowers yesterday so they'd get more sun. They weren't getting enough. And working in my yard with my dog Venus sitting there watching me, it's pure heaven, pure heaven. I, it's much better than a church service any day, any day, you know? And so all the impersonal symbols, there's two little frogs playing in my, and snails crawling around, you know? My frog yesterday just gave me total happiness. Now to someone who's an Orthodox Catholic, they think I've really sunk below the pale of orthodoxy, you know, that a frog could make you happy. And I just looked at him, you know, and God gave you eyes. He looks back at me and it's just, it's sheer, even a sardine can make you happy. So God really is everywhere now and, and accessible at the air consciousness level when I talk philosophical and theological, at the personal level of my Catholic statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which I'm not going to apologize for, and at the impersonal level of frogs and black Labradors and flowers. That's a good world to live inside of. You, know? I, you can see why I want to write this book or talk about it to everybody. Oh, you're suddenly home free, and you're home free 24 hours a day. It, it's what drives you towards solitude. Why I live sort of as a hermit now. You just, nothing could be better than this. <laughs> Why would I want anything to take me away from this? Uh, but actually nothing can. Because now you can be in a noisy bar, which is probably where you were last night, <laughs> and, and God is just as present there in the noisy bar too. <laughs>